Pigeon Point Light Station or Pigeon Point Lighthouse is a lighthouse built in 1871 to guide ships on the Pacific coast of California. It is the tallest lighthouse tied with Point Arena Light on the west coast of the United States. It is still an active Coast Guard aid to navigation. Pigeon Point Light Station is located on the Coastal Highway State Route 1, 5 miles 8 kilometers south of Pescadero, California, between Santa Cruz and San Francisco. The 115-foot white masonry tower resembles the typical New England structure. Because of its location and ready access from the main highway, Pigeon Point entertains a large number of public visitors. The lighthouse and the land around have been preserved as Pigeon Point Light Station State Historic Park, a California state park. The lighthouse is also listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and designated as a California Historical Landmark. The Pigeon Point Lighthouse is also a logo of E.W. Scripps Company. Topic. History Pigeon Point Lighthouse is one of the most picturesque lighthouses on the Pacific coast. The tower stands on a rocky promontory and has long been a landmark for ships approaching San Francisco Bay from the south. This headland, and hence the lighthouse, took its name from the ship carrier Pigeon that wrecked here in 1853. The lantern room of the tower is no longer equipped with the original first order, 1000 watt Fresnel lens. No longer illuminated for demonstration purposes, the lens has 24 flash panels, is composed of 1008 hand polished lenses and prisms and is capable of producing over 500,000 candle power illumination. It was manufactured by the Henry Lepout Company in Paris, France and was first lit at Pigeon Point at sunset on November 15, 1872. Originally the tower was equipped with a lamp that burned refined lard oil pig fat. In 1888, that lamp was replaced with a mineral oil kerosene lamp. To produce Pigeon Point's assigned characteristic of one white flash of light every 10 seconds, the one, one ton lens rotated one time every four minutes. When observed from a distance, this resulted in the appearance of one white flash of light every 10 seconds. The lens rotation was originally powered by a clockworks and 45 pounds 20 kilograms weight. In 1926 the lighthouse was provided with electricity. Modern innovations were incorporated and the kerosene IOV lamp was replaced by a 1,000-watt bulb, the clockworks by an electric motor and an electrically operated fog signal was eventually installed. The lighthouse has been designated California Historical Landmark No. 930. In 1972, the United States Coast Guard mounted a 24-inch mm aerobeacon on the front of the tower now replaced by a smaller beacon and officially retired the Fresnel lens from regular duty. The first order Fresnel lens is no longer lit to celebrate special occasions, such as the annual lighting of the lens, which usually occurred in mid-November closest Saturday to November 15, the date of the original first lighting in 1872. The lens was removed from the top of the tower in November 2011, to now be displayed in the fog signal building, adjacent to the base of the lighthouse. The light outside the lens room, mounted on a small veranda at the top of the 100-foot tower, rotating with six beams, is still an active aid to navigation. Updated information, garnered from the recent lens removal crew, has produced new numbers for the weight of the lens, long reported to be 4 tons. In actuality that figure was the complete shipping weight of the lens and its rotating clock works. The correct figures are as follows, lens weight, 1, 1 ton, the clock works, 1, 1 ton, and the 78, 78 wooden shipping crates to contain such, 2, 2 tons, total, therefore, being the reported 4 tons. The first order Fresnel lens of the Pigeon Point Lighthouse originally came from the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, which has the same lens characteristic. 
Following the deactivation of the original tower in 1870, the lens, which had only been installed in 1863 was removed and put into storage. Shortly thereafter in 1871 it was shipped to the west coast to be installed in the new lighthouse. The tower has been closed to tours since December 2001 because of the collapse of brickwork supporting outside access metal walkways on the top of the structure. Cast iron was used rather than steel with the unfortunate result being that cast iron absorbs water rather than repelling it like steel, thus the walkways are severely rusted, as are the major binding ring bands at the base of the tower. The California State Park System has promised repairs, but it is estimated that even if funds were available, it would be 7 to 10 years before the repairs would be completed. In July, 2010, Representative Anna G. Ashu di Palo Alto stated that of the $3.4 million she requested for her district through the fiscal year 2011 Interior and Environment Appropriations Act, $250,000 will be allocated to restore the upper portion of the lighthouse. The restored lighthouse keeper's housing has, since the mid-1960s, also served as a youth hostel for travelers. The hostel is operated by High USA, a non-profit organization devoted to helping the young gain a greater understanding of the world and its people through hosteling. The four three-bedroom houses north of the lighthouse have overnight lodging for groups and individual travelers of all ages. Each house has male or female bunk rooms, as well as private room options. Hostel guests from all over the world share kitchens and living spaces set up to facilitate intercultural exchange. An outdoor hot tub can be rented in the evenings. Topic. Image gallery Topic. See also List of lighthouses in California List of lighthouses in the United States